Portable document format or PDF is one of the most preferred and popular file formats which is used to share and distribute digital documents. It offers several advantages and thus widely used by both individuals and businesses across the globe. However, editing PDF files, especially when you don't have access to a PC or laptop, could be tedious and sometimes not at all possible. Well, that was the case until a few years ago. But now we have access to some of the best web and mobile apps that can help you edit, annotate, compress, highlight, basically edit the PDF files on the go and without the help of a PC. But when it comes to web apps, which can be accessed from any device including your iPhone, of course, they are not mobile friendly. And what's more concerning is that you need to upload your PDF documents on these web apps, which may be confidential, such as your scanned passport or some ID, bank details, or maybe a workplace or office document that contains sensitive information that you can't share with just anyone. So when you upload your PDF file on these web apps, whether using your iPhone or a PC, you actually sharing the document with the site and the site owner or the administrator has full access to those files. Now, if that doesn't concern you, I don't know what will. On the other hand, a PDF editing app that you install on your iPhone, such as the PDF elements from Wondershare, allows you to edit PDF documents without any hassle with the help of a user-friendly and iOS optimized user interface. So you don't need to upload your sensitive PDF documents or any document on web apps just to edit it. So let's talk about PDF elements. It's one of the most popular and easy to use PDF editing app for iOS devices that you can install on your iPhone or iPads from the app store. Installing it is just a tap away. It makes editing text in PDF super easy. You can edit the original text in the PDF with an automatic font recognition feature that helps you edit PDF text seamlessly and it doesn't change your font. It keeps it original, as I said. You can also mark up or annotate PDF documents, add text box, call outs, stamps, or draw anything and even erase text or whatever you have drawn on the PDF document with just a few taps. Now you can use the PDF elements app to highlight, underline, or strike through the text in PDF files or fill forms, send it, or just take the print out with ease. You can also add signatures to the PDF file and manage all your PDF files stored on your iPhone or iPad, either it's on the local storage or on the cloud. Further, you can scan documents and create PDF documents file with these and on the go. Also, you can use the Wi-Fi option in this app to share these edited PDF files wirelessly through Wi-Fi network to any device in your home or office. You may also upload the PDF files and other documents or file to your iPhone using this Wi-Fi option wirelessly, which makes it much more useful and convenient when it comes to PDF editing and also other tasks. So if you often need to deal with PDF files or are concerned over the privacy of your document and you own an iPhone, then you must try the PDF elements app on your device. Cause unlike other PDF editing apps, PDF element is an all-in-one package that can be used to manipulate and edit a PDF file in whichever way you want to. However, one thing that I miss in this app is the ability to convert scanned or raster PDF files or the PDF files that are created using images of any document which contains text. Although you can edit these kinds of scanned PDF files as well, you can't edit the original text as it's an image. However, you can always install the PDF element on your Mac or Windows PC, which comes with OCR feature, which is optical character recognition that helps you convert such raster scan PDFs into editable PDF or Word documents. So you can edit the text of such PDF files. Well, this was all for now in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and uh, do try out the PDF elements app. It's free to install. So all you need to do is Go to App Store, install it, sign in, and then start editing your PDF documents. Also, please hit the like if you like this video and subscribe for more helpful guide. 
I'm Ravi from Tech Post Guides and I'll see you in another video. Have a good day.